guys, let's get this party started. I, oh man, I've already wore out my throat. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Xavier Whitney from Abraham Lincoln High School. Four years ago. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's get this started. To be honest, I entered poetry only recently. I looked at creative writing club thinking I'd meet my fellow authors, and instead it's this. I thought poetry only belonged to those artsy folk. You know the ones, holding cigarettes with them long fancy holders, wearing hats filled with rocks, that told others that only they had the eyes and ears for design. That they stood upon a great tower and looked down upon us mortals, and I held a spite against them for that. <sighs> to be honest, I don't believe in gods or kings, only man, in the meaning we create for ourselves in life. The idea that fate exists for me, the mere implications that there is some great deity with over seven billion marionettes, I, I can't stand that. I have to be in control. To be honest, I am afraid of people's judgment. I stopped wearing a fedora and started shaving my neck beard to avoid the fingers and the laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I am afraid of it so much that I don't even let my own family hear my work because I just want to avoid the talks. <laughs> and to be honest, I despise everything I've ever done as a child. We were born and we're expected to know what we're supposed to do in life. And I can't, hold, I can't stand that I wasn't able to live up to those expectations. That my lofty dreams of being an inventor, making great things, and all the way down to I just want to be a welder. That I held my mother and father hostage in a 20-year horrible marriage simply by existing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we come here to take our masks off. That for me, once a week or maybe once a year, we can share our pain with our audiences and maybe feel and have our, you know, they can, ah, crap. Anyway, that they can recompense, that they know. And I, for months, well, what you were seeing before you was a man of paper and penciled in personality. And I'm usually happy with the crazed yokel mechanic that I give to people, screaming from the rooftops and banging junk together just to see what would happen. <laughs> wearing bib overalls simply because it's easier than pulling my pants up and totally not because it keeps me safe and secure because my back is covered. And I love machines the way I do because they are because not because they're tireless and allow us to do great things as a species, but simply because I'm kooky like that. <laughs> Ladies, and I've just never done that. I've held that out for so many years because I was raised around manly men and I wanted to be a manly man too. And for honestly, I still wish to be that way. To be honest, it only takes a little bit of pressure to make, make a paper man crumble. Yeah!